lion lived in a cave on the top of a mountain. A little mouse also lived in the very same cave in a small little hole over there. One day, as the lion was sleeping, the mouse came out of his hole and for no reason at all, bit the lion on the tail and then dashed back out of there as fast as he could. And the lion was furious, but by the time he had jumped up, the mouse had disappeared back into his hole and no matter how hard the lion tried, he couldn't reach him. Now, for two days, the lion, who was very, very angry, kept trying to get hold of the mouse. Finally, after two days, the lion had an idea. He decided that you shouldn't waste so much energy on such an insignificant enemy. You should get somebody who is at the same level as that enemy to deal with it. And so the lion went off and he hired a cat to catch the mouse. Now, the lion's strategy was that every day he would give the cat little tiny bits of food, but if he ever heard the mouse moving around inside that mouse hole, he would double, triple the amount of food that he was giving the cat. And the cat was so grateful for the extra attention, for this extra food, that he would double his vigilance. He would keep an extra careful guard on the mouse hole. And of course, eventually it was bound to happen. The mouse came out one day, the cat was waiting, the cat jumped on the mouse and he killed it. The lion, of course, was thrilled. The mouse had finally been taken care of. But with the killing of the mouse, the lion also realized that he had now no more use for the cat. And so he simply stopped feeding the cat. Unfortunately, however, the cat by now had forgotten how to look after himself. He'd forgotten what it was like to have to go out and look for his own food. And so instead of once again gathering up his energy, it had decided to lie in a corner, mewing miserably, waiting for the lion's attention, which he didn't get. And eventually the cat died of starvation. So what's the moral of this story? I think this particular story has so many lessons to teach. But if I was to pick just the one thing, it is that however you decide to treat yourself is how the world is going to treat you. So if you decide that somebody else has power over you, it's because you've given them that power over you. If you believe that you're not worth anything, that is exactly what others will believe about you too. And the harsh reality is that if you bring nothing but weakness and dependence to a relationship, why should anyone else want you? Never give up your strength, no matter how small you think that is. Never give up your strength because in the end, that is what makes you, you.